What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed already, of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Today, we are testing out... Woo! So freaking excited. We have the Fenty Beauty Body Lava. We got brown sugar. And we have Who Needs Clothes. And we also have the Fairy Bomb Pum Pum. You guys, I am so freaking excited for this Beach Please collection from Fenty Beauty because me personally, I absolutely love to shine. I love my skin to glow in the summer and the springtime, especially while I have a tan. So when I saw the first post from, it was either Fenty or Rihanna, I don't remember remember exactly who but when I saw it I was like OMG get that in my life immediately my first hope of this collection was that it was not going to break the bank <laughs> and then a couple days later they shared the prices and I was like oh lord help me Jesus but I bought it anyway the only thing I did not buy from the collection was the kabuki brush because it's $34. It's a tiny little kabuki brush. I just couldn't get myself to purchase that as well, but I did buy both of the body lavas and the fairy bomb bomb. The body lavas retail for $59 a piece. <laughs> And then this little pom-pom thing retails for $42 and then the kabuki was $34. So what did I spend? I still spent um, over $160 on some glue. Okay, let's first talk about the packaging. I mean the packaging is to die for. It is so cute. I love the rose gold. I love the pink. I just absolutely love it. I forgot to tell you guys, I did order these online from Sephora and I ordered them Friday morning, probably around like 10 a.m. And I just received them in the mail today, which is Tuesday. I just got home from work and I said, babe, I'm going to film a video. Okay, here are the bottles themselves. I am shooketh. They are huge. I was not expecting these bottles to be so big. With that said, I do think that you are going to get your money's worth out of this $59 bottle. So now that I'm holding the bottles in my hand, I don't even care that they are $59 a piece. Do you know what I'm saying? They are beautiful, gorgeous. You hear that? They're glass, okay? Oh, so gorgeous. I love both shades. Ooh, 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 ooh. I just can't wait to get it on my body. Let's do a quick comparison to the Fenty foundation. There's a huge difference there, okay? You get three ounces in this and oh, I'm just, I'm freaking living right now. I am living. I'm pulling up the Sephora app so we can let you know exactly what this is supposed to do. Even though I think we already know, right? You're just supposed to glow. It is a limited edition. Remember that limited edition, okay? Gel based body luminizer made to veil skin and a gloriously dewy high shine finish for sunlit radiance anytime you please. Hey Fenty. What it's supposed to do, this smooth gel based body luminizer glides onto skin doing to your body what highlighter does to your cheekbones. Simple as that, right? And that's really all like you need to know <laughs> about the freaking luminizer. I will just say I have not actually watched anyone's review on YouTube, but I couldn't help myself but to read some comments of different posts that were online. Majority of the people are saying that it's super sticky and tacky. So we are going to find out if that is actually true. And if it is sticky, I don't think I'm really going to care, okay? <laughs> Let's go into who needs clothes. God, it's freaking gorgeous. Take off the cap and it looks like this, very cute. Let's first get a little bit on the back of our hand just to see. We probably need to pump it just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Mmm, it does smell so good. Oh, I don't even, I can't even pinpoint what it smells like, but like a vanilla or something. Oh, it smells so bomb. So I'm just kind of rubbing it in with my finger. Now it's very thick. It's not watery at all. And I'm going to be completely honest. Like it doesn't, I don't feel like the stickiness yet. Maybe when it starts to dry down, it'll be super sticky. You definitely can see that shine and that glow on my hand. It is glowing, yes. Now I don't have the Kabuki brush, but I have like this little brush here that I'm going to try out. It doesn't even have a name. I couldn't even tell you where it came from. I don't know, have no clue. Let's get this on my freaking shoulder. 
So we're going to try one pump because I heard a lot of speculation like, oh, people are using too many pumps. You're only supposed to use one. And then there was a comment that was like, oh, well, Rihanna used three pumps in her little swatch video. So I am just going to go one pump real quick and then see what it does for us. So there's one pump on my shoulder. Let's go in. Besides this cheap ass brush shedding everywhere. Oh my god, it's shedding everywhere. Like, I just can't. Okay, that really sucked because that brush sucks and I think it soaked up all the products. So, I really for sure need another pump. So, let's get another. I did two pumps, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is just some random kabuki type brush. Let's just get it on my skin and see what this glow is supposed to do here. Now that it's on my arm, I can feel what people are talking about as far as just like the sticky or maybe tackiness. So far, that's not really bothering me. I'm just being honest, it's not really bothering me. But do you guys see that glow? <laughs> I really hope that you guys can see the glow on my arm because I'm living for it. So now let's get brown sugar on this shoulder and see what it does for us. We're just going two pumps. Oh, it's way darker. I'm using my left hand to do this, and I'm not a lefty, so it's going to be a little difficult. Oh yeah, this is definitely darker. And there is brown sugar. Ooh, 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 ooh. I really want to save my chest for the pom-pom. We'll let the body lava soak into the arms, and we will move on to the fairy bomb. I think the packaging is to die for. Okay, let's open her up. Huge! Look, it's like as big as my friggin' head. Well, I have a big old head, so not maybe maybe two of these would be the size of my head. Anyway, I'm just like rambling. So freaking cute! You know, it just has that little thing in there. Smell not as good as the body lava, but it's not a bad scent. I guess let's just go on in, right? Like, what else are we supposed to do? So let's just start dabbing it on my chest. Oh wow! Can you guys tell? Really see that glitter. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. I can totally see the glitter, but I don't know if you guys can. The light up against my chest, can you start to see it? Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. That is freaking gorge. I mean, it's a little sheer, but girl, when you turn around in that light, you be shining bright. <laughs> I am too much right now. I get super excited when I'm trying a new product that like I'm kind of living for, you know? I hope that you can see this on camera, how much it is shining. But yeah, girl, we is shining. Now let's see if you can tell the difference on my shoulder. I mean, honestly, I feel like it looks kind of the same. This side is who needs clothes. I feel like the pom-pom has way more shimmer than who needs clothes. And then let's get this over here, brown sugar. I feel like the pom-pom has way more glitter. But overall, I mean, I think it's all gorgeous. Okay. I'm like getting so ahead of myself that I completely forgot to read about the pom-pom on the app. This is also limited edition. It's an oversized glittering puff pre-packed with super fine 3D rose gold shimmer designed for dabbing directly all over the body. Just dab and glow. You know what I'm saying? Not much else to say. I know I already have highlight on, okay? But I wonder if it will give me a little more. Did it? I can't tell. I can't really tell because I already have highlight, but girl, we are going to get body lava over the pom-pom glitter on the chest because why not? One pump of brown sugar, and then we're going to do a pump of who needs clothes. We is just going to mix them. All right, is it shining even more? I think it is, it is. It looks like I just put some tanning away, hold on. Ooh. <laughs> now we're going back in! Because honestly, you just, I feel like you just can't glow enough, you know? 
So the bottom of the pom-pom starts to change color. Is that because I put the pom-pom on top of the body lava? I don't know what's going on over here. I don't think it was that color at first. I think that's the glitter that comes out. I, I for sure think that's the glitter. Look at my hand. I don't know if you can really tell. But girl, I got some rose gold glitter everywhere, okay? Let's address the whole sticky tacky situation here. It is sticky. If you don't like sticky stuff, then you are not going to like this product. If stickiness on your skin doesn't bother you, you are going to love this product. I think it's that simple. But yeah, girl, we is a sticky, sticky person, okay? Like, I don't want to, like, feel sticky or anything like that. Honestly, I love this glow on my skin that I will deal with the stickiness and tackiness because of how much I love this product. That's just me, and that's how I feel about it, and that's just my per personal preference. So, come summer time girl I'm gonna be bathing in, the, in this body lava I'm going to Vegas in July and girl you know I'm checking my bag so I can bring this bottle with me but other than the stickiness and tackiness of the actual product I mean Fenty Beauty just I feel keeps killing the game when it comes to the beauty community and bringing us products that we freaking love I love these products you guys no freaking joke this is my honest opinion and I'm living I'm living for it now that I'm actually right here in the moment trying on the product I really wish that I did order that kabuki brush because I'm thinking that it doesn't soak up the product the way that my other two brushes did because I really feel like this brush that I used sucked it all up too so I might end up having to go back online and ordering that brush just because oh but I don't want to spend $34 on that damn brush but I think I'm gonna have to overall I am living for these products. I can't wait to use it every day in the summer pool days. I probably won't ever wear it to the beach because I don't want sand to be sticking to my entire body. But girl, when I'm out there at my pool, you better believe that I'm going to have my body lava on. If I'm going somewhere, if I'm going out, body lava is on. Okay. Who out there went and bought this Fenty Beauty Beach Please collection? And if you did, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Are you living for it? Do you like the tackiness? Was it sticky for you as, as it was for me? Let me know. That's it for this Fenty Beauty Beach Please collection review, try on, first impressions, body lava, fairy bomb. We are done. We tried it. We know what it feels like. And this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Fenty Beauty Beach Please collection review, please leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!